Yo what's up guys this is Aprix here and I have finally bought this Skyline Edge subscription. Now if you guys know then Skyline Edge is basically the paid version of Skyline emulator where you can get early access features and better performance. Before Skyline Edge used to be available on the coffee page but now they have shifted it to Patreon. Patreon can be used in most of the countries so I was able to buy the Skyline Edge subscription as you can see right here membership. Uh, my membership is the Skyline Edge $5 per month. Uh, the phone which is in my hand is Realme X3. It has Snapdragon 855 Plus processor and let me show you guys that I have installed the Skyline Edge emulator in it and I was trying to run Super Mario Odyssey as you can see right here. This is with stock settings. So today I'll be applying the best settings and will be telling you guys if it is worth purchasing the Skyline Edge subscription. So first of all this is the uh, main menu look as you can see it says Skyline Edge emulator. Uh, so edge has basically this golden theme if we just go ahead and go to settings and enable show performance statistics I have added the turnip driver which is turnip version 24 as I told you guys before on snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor You cannot really use turnip driver if you have snapdragon 888 processor or below you can turn on uh, the turnip driver for better performance and gameplay experience and as you can see I have enabled the dock mode afterwards uh, disable frame throttling can be used to get some benchmarks so aspect ratio device aspect ratio executor slot count i'll set it to 12 because this device only has 6 gb of ram now enable texture readback will be enabled okay so these are the best settings for skyline emulator now let's just go ahead and go back and let's test out super mario odyssey again Let's go, just take a look at this FPS at the top left corner. We are getting this much FPS because we have disabled uh, or enabled the disable frame throttle option which means that our game can go over 60 FPS and you can take a look at the performance at the top left corner. This device is uh, nearly 2 to 3 years old, still it is holding up very well at HD Nintendo Switch emulation. Anyways, let's just go ahead and take a look at the uh, Skyline Edge on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. This is the big boy right here. We'll just go ahead and install the Skyline Edge emulator. And if you are trying to upgrade from normal Skyline emulator to Skyline Edge, make sure that you uninstall Skyline emulator. It costs about $5, but is it truly worth it though? That's the question. So let's go to settings, show performance statistics, dock mode, okay. All the settings are pre-selected. That's pretty cool. So this time let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is version 1.0 and it does not work. If you want to play Zelda Breath of the Wild on Skyline emulator, uh, you should use version 1.6.0 because that's the only version which works. Afterwards, let's try out Pokemon Tournament DX uh, demo version. But be sure to remember that Skyline Edge subscription is only for one month. Keep one thing in mind though, after your Skyline Edge subscription is over, you won't be able to access the new builds which will be releasing later so your discord role will be taken away from you. You won't be able to install or try out the later Skyline Edge subscriptions once your membership is over. Most of the texture issues have really been fixed in Pokemon tournament which is quite nice but still uh, there is major rendering issues. Uh, you can see the characters are not being rendered at all but the map is uh, pretty beautiful as you can see in the background. The best game to play on Skyline Edge are Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu hands down because they have very less uh, issues. Here we go guys as you can see we are getting about 45 to 50 FPS which is definitely be uh, better than what we were getting before. The game will surely lag if it's rendering or compiling some shaders but there is noticeable uh, improvement in performance compared to Skyline Emulator normal version and Skyline Edge. Now if you guys want me to make an in-depth comparison of games on Skyline Edge versus Skyline Emulator then let's hit 350 likes on today's video and I might just make that video. But yeah, definitely performance improvements are present in Skyline Edge. If you have a device with Mali GPU then I definitely recommend you guys support Skyline uh, project and get the Skyline Edge subscription but if you can't afford it then Skyline Emulator is always open source. You don't have to worry about it but you will need to wait until the early access features are implemented in the normal version of Skyline Emulator. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye. See you guys tomorrow.